Let's take a look at Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat. You're going to want to know about this if you want to start using Copilot in your organization, but you're not quite ready for the full Microsoft 365 Copilot, either for financial or security reasons. This one is designed to help you scale without the cost and without the risk of Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now, they look very similar, don't they? <laughs> the names, not confusing at all. It won't be by the end of this video. So what we've got here is Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat is a free offering. This is a business scenario. This is not for personal use. What we've got here is also the ability to start to use some of the more advanced features with agents on a pay as you go. So just on a consumption basis and you choose how you use them as opposed to the Microsoft 365 Copilot, which hasn't changed. That remains the premium offering, which costs $30 per user per month and is connected into all of your work data. Now, I'm going to take you through all of this. First up, we're going to have a look at what you're actually getting for this free plus slightly pay as you go new Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. And then we'll do a comparison of these two things to help you decide which one is going to be right for you. So first up, let's go through the three things that are part of Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. I'm going to try to get the product names right on the first take here. I'm going to go into a demo of each of these things. So firstly, we're going to see the chat experience, which is secure, grounded in web data, and also using OpenAI's GPT-40 model. So this is a really kind of premium free experience. Secondly, you can start building out agents, which allows you to automate workflows. Microsoft's vision for this is this becomes as common as end users creating spreadsheets or work documents. This is a very, very big part of it. And thirdly, we have the IT governance control. So everything that we're looking at in this video, the IT in your organization, if you are IT, that's you, you do have control over who has access to this and how you want to set that up. So let's get in and take a look at the user experience. You get to this by navigating to m365copilot.com. If you have the free Microsoft 365 Copilot chat version, this is what you'll see. You've got this nice logo at the top here. Whereas if you have the paid Microsoft 365 Copilot version, you'll see that you've got different tabs here for work and web. We are going to come back to this, but this is the biggest difference between the two of them. Let's go back into the Microsoft 365 Copilot chat version first. So first thing we've got here is this secure chat. You will see at the top here, we've got this enterprise data protection flag. That means that every interaction you have here is commercially protected. Microsoft does not have eyes on it. It's not being used to train a model. I've spoken to a lot of organizations that have shut down access to all of the AI tools because they don't want their commercial information leaking out into the models or onto the internet. This is your safe place to start. This is low risk in terms of the security because it's not connected to all of your business data. Again, I'm going to keep coming back to this. This one is grounded in the web only at this point, but it is a secure experience. So if you're putting things in here about, you know, help me with my competitor analysis, right, my marketing plan, whatever that looks like, it's not going anywhere else. So if you want to start with a secure AI tool for free, this is your place. The thing you've got going on here, in addition to that GPT-40 model, which is a very good model, you can add prompts here up to 16,000 characters. So you can get quite sophisticated and detailed with your prompting, but you can also add files in here and work with those to summarize them. So I've got an example of a file, which is Satya Nadella's letter to shareholders talking about Microsoft's performance last year. And I'm just going to say, please help me write a LinkedIn post about this content and click here, choose my file, which is a Word document. And this is now going to go ahead and use that for the context of the chat. So what we've got so far, all of this is free so far. We have got a lot of... <laughs> These AI tools do like using emojis. This rocket emoji is getting a lot more use than it used to. Now, let's say I'm working with my colleague in marketing here. The other thing that you're getting as part of this free experience is a piece called Copilot Pages. So what that allows you to do is to work in collaboration with Copilot and with your colleagues side by side to put content together. So let's say that we're drafting this together. Instead of me writing it and sending it to her in a Word document or whatever I'm doing, 
doing, I'm just going to click here and say edit in pages. And this opens this side by side experience. So what I can do here is say, let's grab this link and I'm going to copy that link. And I'm going to come in here as my other user, paste that link in, and that's going to give this character access to that page. So here we go. Now I've got this and let's say let's say this user is not so keen on all of the emojis so we're going to go through and start to edit this do you like emojis in posts how are we feeling about that it's become a thing i can't decide if i love it or hate it but let's say this user doesn't like it let me switch back into my first user here and you'll see that that's being edited live in real time so i'm going to come in here and maybe as this user change it what an amazing year and I'm just doing sort of silly things now, but you'll get the idea. And I switch back to my other user and you'll see that's been changed. So this allows both users to work on that document in real time, same as you would with a loop component. But I can also come in here and say, let's use one of these prompts, include a quote and bring that in to my copilot on the side and I can go back and forth and start to build out these things and pick out the quotes. So here we go. I could just pick out this piece here and add it in. So you can see that you can build this sort of live as you go and collaborate on that. So everything I've shown you so far is free with this Microsoft 365 copilot chat, secure chat, grounded in web data, upload files, and this Copilot pages experience. Let's close this one down and we will come in here and start a new chat. The second thing that you can do here is creating an agent. Now agents are designed to enable you to create AI enabled workflows. This is something that's going to be a really good productivity tool. You can build things that are super complex, but the idea here just inside this new Microsoft 365 Copilot chat is that individual users can use agents in their everyday work or build agents in their everyday work. Now I did say IT have control over this. So our user here has the ability to say get agents, which is to go into the store and choose the ones that the organization has already allowed. Whereas this user here, has actually got access to create an agent. If you are using the Microsoft 365 Copilot chat thing without paying for the license, you can create agents here that are for free if they're just using web data or descriptions or instructions, or you can start to use them to connect to your enterprise data sources and that's where you start to have this pay as you go feature. So this is the only part where you're paying for it. So as an example of something that is just a sort of a general thing that you could do for free, Microsoft have a bunch of out of the box ones that are examples here, but you could create something like this. This is a career coach. You'll see that it's got sort of these instructions. These are the kinds of things that it can do. These are suggested prompts and we can go ahead and create that and work with it. So if you're creating something like this, where all you're doing is giving it instructions. This is very much like creating a custom GPT, if you're familiar with that concept in ChatGPT, where you're saying, here's the instructions. I want you to have these kinds of focused conversations and this kinds of specialist knowledge. So you don't have to go in and prompt it with the same things every time. This is now able to switch across and say, all right, I want to, um, you know, create a career plan or I'm considering career transition advice. And it's very focused on that kind of conversation. And and it's also got those instructions to act as an expert, as opposed to in the main co-pilot experience here where it is all of the things. If you're doing that in the co-pilot for, oh, I nearly got there. If you're doing that in the Microsoft 365 co-pilot chat, just grounded on web data and instructions, you're still in the free zone. I'm about to take you into the paid zone here. So I'm going to come in here and uh, create another new one here. So we'll say create a new agent. And this one is one that's going to be connected to SharePoint. So now I'm starting to connect to my tenant data. This is where we're going to have to pay for it. If you've got the Microsoft 365 Copilot paying $30 a user a month, that's included there. 
But if you don't want to have that whole thing and you just want to be able to create an agent connected to this SharePoint site or connected to this other enterprise data source, this is where you can just have a pay as you go based on consumption and you're choosing, importantly, you're choosing which data sources are available for that. So now what we've got is uh, how about policy guide. So I've given this one, this is one that's that sort of very typical example we're using all the time, connect to my HR policies so that it's able to, you know, answer questions about leave allowances and work from home policies and things. Like that. Please be clear and concise. You can see I'm building this out framing it up it's got its context it's got its purpose i've got instructions that's um all good what i can do now is come in here and say let's configure this and i want to browse and add a sharepoint site in here so i have got a shared library in here which gives me access to all of those hr policy documents now my agent will actually answer questions about those documents but once i've made that connection to my tenant data now we're in a pay as you go scenario. So that's the second thing that we can do with the Microsoft 365 Copilot chat experience. We've got our grounded secure web chat. We've got the ability to create agents. And the third thing I've kind of already talked about all along here, which is that you've got the foundational version of the Copilot control system, which is all of those security controls. So secure chat, the ability to control and manage who can do what here with these agents, which data sources are connected as well as some measurement and reporting. So let's take a look now at the difference between that and what happens with Microsoft 365 Copilot when you start paying for it. So we've seen so far that Copilot chat has got that chat experience, the agents and those IT controls. When you go to the full version, the Microsoft 365 Copilot, which is the one where you're paying $30 per user per month, the biggest difference here is that all of your work data is already there. You're already grounded in all of that. So those things like Teams meetings and emails and chats and all of those things are there, which is not the case with the free one. That's probably the single biggest difference. In addition to that, with the Microsoft 365 Copilot license, you've got Copilot inside all of your apps, your Excel, Word, PowerPoint, all of those features. And you've got some more of the, well, you've got all of the advanced features of the Copilot control system. This is a really, really useful um, kind of comparison table. I'll put the link in the description to where you can find this one on the Microsoft site. So essentially here, your Microsoft 365 Copilot chat has got the ability to do all of these chat things, Copilot pages, upload files. You can also do image generation. I didn't show you that in there, but that's included as well. Creating agents. And as soon as you are connecting to your enterprise or tenant data, that's the part where you pay for it. That's the only part where you pay for it. But you'll see that whole section there on personal assistance, not included in that free version. And the Copilot control system, you're getting those foundational things. Whereas in the Microsoft 365 Copilot, this one here, Copilot Reasons Over Personal Work Data, is probably the highest value thing. But it's also, for some organizations, the biggest barrier to getting started. Because if you don't have your SharePoint documents in order and tagged, this is where the fear comes in about Copilot is going to reveal all this information. To be clear, you should get that stuff in order anyway. It's a problem even if you don't use Copilot. But this is giving you a way to be able to get started without having to wait until you've got all of that sorted out. So which one is right for you? When should you use what? Microsoft 365 Copilot remains the premium experience. That is the one where it is grounded in all of your work data. That is honestly where the highest value comes from. And you are getting what you're paying for with that. That's why you're paying that $30 per user per month, because it is deeply grounded in the context of everything that you're doing at work as an individual user. The free version, however, means that you don't have to go through all of making sure that all of that is secured if it isn't already, as well as that fear of the big investment of that license. So this is actually a really good way to scale this within your organization to get started without the cost, without the risk, start playing with those agents and connecting it up to just this SharePoint site or just that enterprise data source and just paying for what you're using. Start to get a feel for the value of that Ideally, have a pilot group going, choose a particular department and have a pilot group going with the Microsoft 365 Copilot, but it allows everyone in the organization 
using Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat to start skilling up on using these tools and having that more limited, safer start access hopefully, while you can work up towards the big one. I'm sure you've got a heap of questions. Stay subscribed. I'm going to make a heap more content and pop your questions in the comments. And I will use that to inspire me with the next video as well. As always, thank you for watching.